battery. For what? A Special. Mustang. Shh. Secret project. I like it because, like I said, it's 960 on the cranking and 800. And I just feel like with that battery being in the back, you're going to want as many amps as possible. Yeah. Probably agree. Oh. Put it in my TJ Maxx cart. I didn't even know TJ Maxx sold batteries. Best place in town to get batteries, Roll King. Good batteries, way less expensive. Yep. All right, we're out. Let's go. sitting for quite a while gonna give it a give it a go try to fire it up and drive it across town what the hell all right guys so i'm gonna show you guys around the car real quick it has not ran in a solid in, in a while um however uh, we're gonna drive this bitch home an hour so uh, uh the 67 millimeter turbo 331 Small block Ford, a cat, eight-point cage. This thing sounds like a boat. We got power. So quick little update, we were going to do like a roadkill style video um, with this car, with the, it's, it's been a minute since it's ran, um, however, um, the Holly, I'm going to assume, lost its tune or something, and I was charging my computer last night, um, however, my computer is uh, dead, just, it's just dead to the world, so uh, I have to get a new race car computer, because I use, I have two computers, I have one for you know, work and business, and I have one for the race car. And, um, guess I'll need a new one. So we are going to try and get this thing running. So at ProFab, um, well, the original game plan was to just drive it home. However, um, thanks to uh, electronic fuel injection, I'm uh, going to assume the computer lost its tune and um, wasn't able to turn on the fuel pump. However, um, and, and I didn't have my computer there. The computer that I use for the race car stuff, um, last night it, I just decided to not work anymore. So um, I Amazoned a same day computer and it's crazy how, stuff, how that stuff shows up pretty much within hours. Um, and I downloaded the Holly software. Um, I kind of needed a computer anyway if that one was broke. So uh, especially for the race car stuff. Are you triggered yet? 
Am I triggered yet? No, but I'm getting triggered. It ain't no wonder Mr. GP1 was pissed off at this thing. But I'm no Holly expert. Oh, the wipers and work. the windshield wipers do <laughs> work. <laughs> now that's street car. Holly wipers. That is street car. Yeah. I wonder what input and output that uh, you had to do. We're not going to start that street car shit here. Okay. We're more up the pro mod way. Yeah, yeah. Tube chassis. We like yeah. tube chassis. And, tube uh, chassis. On this uh, YouTube channel. However, uh, show, show, them what you're, show them what you're seeing. What like I'm pro stuff go. Now you know what I know. Uh, I'm, very good shot of I'm using what little uh, expertise I had and or what little non expertise I had in Holly on the third gen. For a different ECU though. For a HP. This is a Terminator or not. The one on the Camaro was a Terminator. This one's a HP. So So what is the current actual issue? The fuel pump's not turning so, on. So yeah, right? the fuel pump's not turning on. And I gotta figure out what input or output like what output's not triggering which on the Camaro, we just had a, I, I flipped it by a switch, the fuel pump. I didn't turn it on by key where it primes it. You, you, you were old school. Yeah. yeah. That's that's the only way I know how to do it. And well, like I told you, if you thought you were going to bring this thing home and immediately get it right oh. within a couple minutes. I mean, wouldn't that be amazing, but not, not in this dojo. Yeah, those guys said that there's power to the regulator, not the regulator, the uh, relay. But the ECU is not turning it on, so. So it must be something, and the ECU to as well. All right, so little update. I was able to get uh, fuel pressure up to up here, and uh, I'm very happy about that. So Daisy's just you know being Daisy. So we're gonna work on dumping uh, this fuel out into this can, and uh, hopefully put some fuel in there and see what happens. Cause something better than nothing. figure out well i was able to do a prime like i figured out how to prime it um and we was able to drain some fuel out um now we're going to try and start it uh which could be a whole nother battle um however we're getting there we got the fuel pump working which i'm happy about i mean heck even if that's the only thing uh, I'm gonna be I'll, be, I'll be happy about it because I figured it out. So, um, I am gonna look in this little black magic box and see what I could do. Probably not much, but something. Oh, well, I mean, I don't know what I don't know what the dogs are doing, but it's said so the base sparks is point eight on everything i don't know ignition parameters coil um, no timing control okay come on now dog come on man <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Yep, get your cameras ready. Get your cameras ready. We're gonna go cruising. I feel like I should put my seatbelt on. I'm a little nervous. I ain't gonna lie. Huh? I ain't gonna lie. Huh? Yeah. 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 cigarette hanging out of that <laughs> sounds good Right, so not only does the Mustang run, but it drives too. Um, kind of a big accomplishment for for, for, for me, honestly, because um, to ho the whole Holly software to even get it to a I would say a base running state um, is exciting for me at least because well uh, the HP I feel like is drastically different than the Terminator. I mean I could be wrong. Um, I don't, I'm not a big EFI person. Um, however, uh, looking in the software and everything, I felt it was drastically different. Uh, you know, the, the Terminator, it has the little, uh, the little handheld wizard screen where you can put in, you know, the injector size and tune and, um, 
uh, your desired idle and stuff like that and cubic inch and you know uh, what injectors and then it pretty much makes a bass tune and i was like just absolutely free balling with this deal i mean i don't know i'm what do i know i i, I don't deal with the uh EFI stuff all that often. However, I'm very excited um, that we got it to run. Very exciting we got it to run. Um, however, um, on the dr on the drive around the block, what's the dog doing over there? Doing something. Um, on the drive around the block, uh, it kind of got a little warm, um, but nothing too excessive. Uh, we got some like little air pockets or bubbles coming out of, out of the water pump. Um, so, uh, I would say in, in another video or, uh, we'll pop off that water pump, reseal it, maybe even get a new water pump. Um, however, very cool. It drove pretty good once it started to idle good. Um, and, uh, I don't, I don't know. I'm kind of impressed <laughs> a little bit with myself, but honestly, the car really nice um i can't wait to kind of do some detail stuff to it run a buffer over the paint uh paint up some of these uh, moldings right here you know repaint them black and uh, just give it a nice refresh i'm excited for it swap the tires i'd, I'd say it need, needs new tires up here as well um, we do have a new or not a new set but a medium used set of drag radials but beautiful car um like i said it's got holly e or holly efi the hp ecu um interior is absolutely beautiful so it has a cage uh done by cameron johnson which is cool it's got the swing out door bars we even have the door bars i'll throw them on for you guys here in a second back seat co2 uh, working windows. Look at that. Classy. Classy.